Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I am so excited because I'm finally decorating my really large tree. This is kind of like our formal living room and then if you guys missed my last tree decorating video, I just did my other one in our family room. It's like a six and a half foot flocked tree. That tree I actually got from Walmart. It was super affordable, but that tree I actually did much more colorful. So if you guys missed that video and you want to see that one, Make sure to check that out. I'll have it linked down below and linked up here. Today, this tree is all black and white. I actually did this same exact tree last year, but this year I'm just adding a lot more to it. Last year was our first year in this house. As the years go on, I'm probably just gonna keep collecting more and more things for this tree, but this tree I actually put ribbon on and I think it just makes it look so much more grand. It does take a little bit longer to decorate because this tree is huge. I think it's like, do you think it's like 10 or 11 feet? Something like that. It's really big. The previous homeowners of this house left it here for us because they didn't have vaulted ceilings in their new house and we bought it kind of around Christmas time. So I actually really like it, but we don't know where it's from or anything. We've got it all fluffed, all the lights working. And now I'm going to show you guys everything that I have to decorate with. But hope you guys enjoy this video. If you have any questions about anything, leave it down below in the comment section or just let me know what you guys think. But let's get started. This is what this room is looking like. Things are pretty much everywhere. But I wanted to kind of show you guys my process and some of the things that I do have here. I have a little bit more ribbon to use this year and then I added a lot of silver bulbs last year but it's going to be primarily black and white bulbs this year. Whenever I decorate I always start with the ribbon. I didn't do ribbon on, ribbon on my flocked tree. I just do ribbon on this tree. I feel like the ribbon kind of makes it take a really long time to decorate so I have this really cool like really thick black and white stripe and then I have this kind of like silver sparkly. Um, I think they're about like four inches wide. These are from the online shop Hello Holidays and they have amazing ribbon. It's definitely pricier just for ribbon but I can tell a huge difference between this and then like stuff that I would find at Hobby Lobby or anything. It's very very thick and I feel like this kind of like makes or break the tree for me. I only bought two rolls last year and this is from last year and then you guys can see I like cut them in strips. I don't think I had an exact size. I just, it looks like maybe it's like two feet long and then I just kind of like place them in. You guys will see what I end up doing. I have that from last year but then I also just bought two more. So the tree is going to be filled with ribbon this year. If this takes a while, this is like the most time consuming part of decorating the tree, I think. I go a little bit crazier with the ribbon. That might not be everybody's taste, but I really, really love the way it ended up looking last year. A few more things I wanted to show you guys are my bulbs. These are from Target last year. They have them again this year. It was a big pack that just had black, white, and silver in it. There's like matte ones, sparkly ones, shiny ones, all different ones in there. So those are all from Target. And then these ones over here, there's a few of the Target ones like mixed in here. But these large black ones, I got those from Walmart online, I believe. And then these kind of like snowball soft ones are from Hobby Lobby. And then these ones that kind of have like a little bit of stripe on it, those are from Walmart. Something I didn't have last year was a ton of white bulbs, but that's what I actually really wanted. They were hard to find. These I actually found on the Walmart website. They're really, really large. They're actually even bigger than, than the ones I got last year. Like they're much bigger. So yeah, these are a lot bigger. They're sparkly. I think they were like four, no, I think they were like two something a piece, but I bought a ton of them this year. Well, not a ton, but I have like 10. I have a bunch of these picks. These are all from Hobby Lobby, and I love those. I think they're just so much fun. I also have these, which are really cool. You guys will see me decorate with those. Those are from the Hello Holiday website. I also have a bunch of picks in here that are all from Hobby Lobby, except for these ones. These ones are from Walmart. I have a few other like special ornaments in here. I'll show you guys later. Um, some stuff isn't going on the tree, but 
I just bought these last month. These are $9.99 a piece from Hobby Lobby. I believe I got them when they were like 50% off. But these completely made my tree last year. So I got a few more of them. They just make it look like so whimsical and so pretty. I love those. Those are from Hobby Lobby too. So now I'm going to start putting the ribbon on and get to decorating. done so far I'm just kind of like tucking in the pieces but I actually wanted to show you guys how I do this because last year when I first last year was my first year with ribbon it actually kind of took me a little while to sort of figure it out last year I actually just took the pieces like this and let me show you guys in a spot I kind of just did it like one long strip almost kind of like this and it almost just kind of like sat on the tree like that. This year I kind of want it to look not as perfect. I don't know how to explain it, but almost just like a little bit more messy in a way. I don't know how to really explain it, but if you guys can see like that top piece I did up there, that's actually one piece and I just kind of like looped it, like tucked it in and then brought it out again. And then some of the pieces like this one down here, I tucked it in and then I just kind of left the end out like that. So I kind of like the way both of them look, but yeah, like this one, this is just one piece, but I have it looped. So I'll kind of show you guys with this piece. So like this one, I just kind of find a good spot to sort of tuck it in and then I just kind of play with it till it's laying how I like. Now you can like tuck this in completely so you don't see the end of it. Or you can kind of like bend it a little bit so this does come out so you can see the end of it. It just kind of like depends what you want. So kind of like the way, the way that looks. I'm kind of doing a little bit of both. It's sort of hard to explain because I'm just sort of eyeing it and just seeing what I like as I go. And I might kind of change things as I go too because I'm going to add in the silver ribbon as well. But just kind of wanted to show you guys how I'm doing it and yeah, that's about it. <laughs> all on this took forever gotta be honest pretty exhausted from that so next year I think I could actually even use a couple more rolls of this ribbon so I added two more rolls this year I think next year I could definitely add two more because I made the front look the best so it just looked you know of course the best from the front I feel like this side over here from the dining room looks pretty good um this side over here might be kind of hard to show you because the humongous ladder is here and there's so much stuff everywhere but as you can tell i start getting a little bit spark back here i'm walking up the stairs now back here oh my goodness guys so hard to decorate back here because there's really just like no way to get to it so it was just really really hard to get back here so it's definitely like more sparse back here but no one's really gonna tell unless they're 
upstairs or something and then I'm gonna have like a lot of other like ornaments and picks in here so I think everything will blend once I get everything else on so the next thing I'm gonna do is start adding in a lot of the picks before I do ornaments or anything I think I'm actually going to do those ones first because I have quite a few of them and they're pretty easy to put in and then these I don't have a ton of them so I'll have to be more sporadic and these I don't have a ton of them so um, the white little dangly ones that I was showing you guys that kind of look like whimsical and snowy. I'll probably do those ones after I do those. But yeah, then it'll really start coming together. And these, you can kind of like stretch them out a little bit. They're pretty cool. And just make them like a little bigger. So, I love that. I just think these ones are so unique. Are going on the tree next I'm starting to lose light because it gets dark here so early but these are also from Hobby Lobby I love them so much they're like these huge branches that are all like glittery and stuff so I usually take these and I poke them out the side of the tree I kind of like having something sticking out on the sides I know that's not for everybody some people like it tucked in a little bit more but I kind of like the look so I have six of these, so I did three on each side last year. I thought it looked nice, and that's what I'm doing again. Guys, it's like four o'clock and it's already dark, so I just turned on some lighting. You guys probably can already leave and see what I'm doing, but I do wanna finish up decorating tonight, and then tomorrow I can give you guys like a full overview of what the tree looks like in the daytime. This is kind of what the tree is looking like in the dark though. <laughs> I think it's looking so, so pretty. I am loving it. So these ones are the ones that I put on top. I only have one of these. These are, these are all from Hobby Lobby. And then I have two of these. So I kind of do like a big thing like that. And then I do have like a star that lights up that'll go in the middle. But I've literally been working this on this for hours and I don't have any ornaments on yet. So... Now I'm going to just start putting the ornaments on. If I lose light, I lose light, but I will show you guys obviously the finished product in the daytime. All right guys, it's the next day. I wanted to show you what the tree looked like. I love how it turned out this year. It's a little bit different than last year just because I did the ribbon a little bit differently and there's more ribbon and then there's bigger like white bulbs on it this year so I really really love it the only thing that I haven't done is I haven't got my star up I put all those sprigs on the top this is actually our star right here it's from Target we are actually having a little bit of trouble getting it on now that like everything is already up here we were like knocking a bunch of stuff off so I was like Okay, we actually are leaving to go out of town today, so I was like, maybe we'll just work on that when we get home, but I'm sure I'll be posting more pictures of this tree on Instagram and stuff like that if you guys want to see it with the star, or I even have a picture of it last year. But yeah, I love these things, especially they're so cool. I'm glad that I got more of those for this year. And then last night, I ended up putting up like our special ones. We have our J. These are from the Sugar Paper brand. Um, our A and then our D for dude. We got these last year when we didn't have bandit yet So we still need a B and then I have my little camera on there and yeah, I just think it looks So so pretty. I love it. It was really hard to like decorate the back of the tree too So just kind of like randomly like threw stuff up there. So the front is definitely the busiest I think it all blends really well 
Joshua, can you turn it on? Okay, Joshua's gonna turn it on so you guys can see what it looks like lit up during the day. I programmed it to go on my claps. Just kidding, it's a switch. <laughs> it looks really good. And if you guys saw our first vlog where I was talking about a bunch of the lights being out, I know you can get those guns and stuff that you guys were talking about, but we actually just like strung extra lights in there. And actually when we first put them on, it said warm lights and they were looking really cool, but then I think they ended up warming up because they all look the same now. So I love it. What do you think? I think I did a pretty good job. <laughs> do you like it better than last year? Yes. Yeah, I did too. And I think even next year, if I wanted to, I could add like a colorful ribbon, like red or green or something. I think I can always like add to this. So I love it. I think it's just gonna get better and better every year. So this is our tree. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for way more Christmas decorating videos and our Christmas house tour that I'm gonna do. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye.